Hello and welcome. Today we are going to work on trailer hitch assembly. When we complete the assembly, we want the, all these uh, assembly parts, uh, they can spin, rotate, uh, but they are not going to move translationally. Okay, let's begin. First, you guys are supposed to click uh, the link is provided to you, description part of the, this video. When you click the link, you are going to go to this website. And if you log in your account, you can make a copy. So the first thing, you are going to make a copy. And then I'm going to delete the copy part here. And OK. Now I have all the parts, um, the all parts just in my account. So I can create or insert new element, which is going to be create an assembly. I'm going to click to create an assembly. Now I'm going to start to insert the parts. First, I'm going to insert the hitch and I'm going to click the green check mark. Now the origin of the hitch and the assembly are mesh together and I'm going to right click on the hitch and I'm going to click the fix. Now I'm going to insert the rest of the parts, I'm going to insert ball, latch, and nut. I'm going to just move down here. And I'm going to click the green check mark. Okay, let's move the parts around here so we can have the better visibility. First, I'm going to insert this part. So I'm going to use Revolate Mate. Because I want them uh, not move translationally, but I want them to rotate. So I'm going to choose this edge. And I want them to go touch here to this edge. Perfect. Now I can click this all. And we can see the motion here. So it, as you can see, it's rotate and green check mark. Isometric view. So we have the first part is right in place. So second part, I'm going to use again, regulate mate. And I want the, this edge. I want to touch here. Perfect. Right here. And when you click the soul or the animate, as you can see, it's not moving translationally, but it rotates. So I'm going to click the green check mark. So the last part is going to be latch. So for that, I'm going to use cylindrical mate. And then we just choose to this edge. I'm going to click the isometric view and I want them, so I'm going to just rotate, I want them to go all the way to here, so therefore I'm going to choose this outer edge. Perfect. Now when I click the sole, as you can see it rotates uh, in the same time. It's most translationally. I don't want them to move translationally. So I'm going to put the limits. Uh, but before I put the limits, I'm going to just click the green check mark to end uh, because I forgot to um, change the units. So the first thing, if you forgot it, like me, you guys are supposed to go to document menu and the workspace units. Make sure the change from inch to millimeter. Uh, and change them to two decimal points instead of pound is going to be gram and two decimal point green check mark now 
we can double click this cylindrical mate again so now we can put the limit so on the z i want them 25 millimeter distance from here to end so therefore i'm going to just put 25 millimeter max or minimum and for the max i'm going to put again 25 millimeter so what will happen so it's gonna leave 25 millimeter distance and when i click this all it's gonna just rotate okay it will not move the translation anymore because for the limit for the minimum and the maximum both of them 25 and i click the green check mark and this is how to complete trailer hitch when you complete it um, you can just hide the origin here and then the mass of the when you click display mass properties when you choose the assembly you should see the mass 20104.6 gram if you see them it means your um completed trailer hitch assembly is correct and um, that's the one part to check it another part you make sure you have the revolate revolate and the cynical mate so these all mates are supposed to uh, rotate but not move translationally and when you click the front view supposed to like this the image as you can see this is how you are supposed to assemble them and when you click the top view you should see this way so there will be 25 millimeter distance from the top of the here and this part of the hitch okay and then just put isometric view again all right this is how to complete how to complete trailer hitch have a wonderful day